Hey, 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 everybody, welcome back. Okay, so I'm going to do a video review for uh, Tuesday in my uh, new live penny stock coaching room. I'm just going to go through really, really quickly, show you guys what we are talking about. Um, here's our prep pre market, which we were uh, looking at uh, MDE, MDGS and SOL, as well as EARS. Okay, so quickly, I'm going to just show you what I was doing here. You can see I'm posting this live, 947, short SOL. We'll add more at 4, added more shorts, stop 420, 957, scaled out with profits, holding half. Uh, Reshort SOS, closed half, missed PDT. Short ears, added a little more ears. Taking more profit. I'm going to go through these trades and show you on the charts, but I want you to show these are all time stamped. Okay? These are all time stamped. Okay? Uh, in front of my thing, I showed some pictures of the trades. Uh, out all SOS. Still in MDGS. Got stopped out of that. And um, uh, it can't break out all day. So I got stopped out, and I might get back in. Back in MDGS. It cannot break out all day, just stop runs, huge winner on MDGS. Okay, so this account was $12,000 when I started this room less than two weeks ago. It is now $53,000. Now, I know it's a demo account, okay, because it's where we're, I'm, I'm in the process of opening it up as a live account right now. Just had to move some money around, but I wanted to show that all of these trades were time stamped and called out in my room in front of well there's only nine people in there but in front of those nine people okay uh, as full witnesses all right now a lot of people they can they can um, they can uh, forge and fake statements but when you have nine people that are watching you and you're calling trades with stops and targets it's impossible to fake that right so in some ways, even though this is a demo account, it is far more realistic because there are actual real live witnesses. Now we're going to go and we're going to talk about the trades real quickly right now. I won't take too long. Okay, so um, MDGS this morning, um, I, I liked it neutral to long um, and I, I was thinking about getting in on the long side, but uh, right off the open, I just did not like all this back and forth volume. It looked to me like it was trapping a lot of people. And as you can see by the delta volume down here, that's exactly what was going on. There was um, both longs and shorts trapped in this market. And as you can see here, it looked like there was more trapped shorts to me. So I thought about getting long, but I just couldn't figure out where to get long on it. But uh, once once it took out and ran the stops on the on the on the shorts, had a pretty good idea that it was going to come back down and punish the longs. And you can see there was a lot of breakout buyers that came in here, and that's exactly what it did. So this is where I got short again in here, and then that trade backed up and turned into a loser on me. Now, why did I take such big size? on the second or third retest of this level at four. Well, basically the order flow showed me that it was safe. Made new highs, rejection, new highs, rejection, new highs, rejection. It was a pretty safe trade to take that third trade with bigger size and a tight stop. So that's why that trade turned into such a big winner. Okay. Uh, the other trade today was SOL. I still have a small position open in it um, with an average right here. Now, SOL is what I like to call a forgotten trade. And there's a lot of money to be made on these trades that have these big runs uh, put in rejection, have big runs again, put in rejection, have big runs again. Um, when you forget about these trades, they're no longer like hot on this day as they were or on this day or on this day you can see the volume is a lot lower a lot lower but these are what i collect like to call the forgotten trades and 
<clears throat> you can see the volume on it is much lighter today than it really was before. Now, got to be honest with you, I got in here. I got in at uh, 378. I added at 4, and then I scaled out and took some profits. Now, it popped up here. I'm still going to hold it to the end of the day, um, you know, with a stop probably above 405. Okay, so SOL, not a lot really to say there other than it's a multi-day runner, and I call them the forgotten trades. There's, there's massive amounts of money to be made in these forgotten trades. Ears. This one was easy breezy as can be. Uh, I just basically sold this level right here. Just as a quick scalp, I had about a 15 cent risk. I made 30 cents on it, and it turned into a big winner on a day. SOS. Same story. Got short here, and took profits, and got short again here, and took profits. Easy breezy stuff. No... And this is not rocket science. This is just order flow reading 101. If you like what you see and you want to be a part of this group, head on over to my website. All of this was strategized and called out in real time. And this is part of my new penny stock trading group. So buy it now if you are interested. Thank you. Love you all. Bye for now.